hello everyone welcome to the class in this video i am going to take one very important uh, question which is in the mind of every uh, undergraduate so if you are doing engineering or if you are doing science graduation or commerce graduation your aim is to get a job to get placed in a good company right and uh, uh, companies are coming for the campus for the placement exercise and if, if you sit in the placement exercise you will find that you have to you know appear in technical in technical as well as non-technical non-technical so on the basis of your knowledge and expertise of technical and non-technical section you will be selected so aptitude test is a part of your non-technical so you have to appear and you have to qualify the aptitude test if you want to get placed in a company okay so let's check how you can do that so first i'll be telling you what is the syllabus of aptitude test so aptitude test uh, comprises three main uh, sections the one is quantitative aptitude and data interpretation so this is calculation based and the second section is logical reasoning so this is based on uh, logic which involves little or no calculation the third section is verbal ability which is basically uh, based on your knowledge of english language so these are the three major sections now i will uh, go deeper into these sections so the first one is quantitative aptitude how to prepare for quantitative aptitude section so quantitative aptitude section is basically uh, it should be good at your basic mathematical skills that you must have learned till your high school but here you need to apply those skills to solve aptitude questions from variety of topics right so you have basic uh, mathematical skills then in order to apply those skills to variety of aptitude questions you should be having the right approach for a particular question then only you can do it so this is a way uh, uh, to uh, prepare for uh, quantitative aptitude but let me tell you what is the syllabus for it so the syllabus for quantitative aptitude is percentages and applications profit and loss simple interest compound interest ratio questions on ages partnerships average mixture and allegation numbers which involves uh, divisibility lcm and cf unit digit concept remainders factors factorial time and distance that has questions on uh, trains boats races escalator clocks permutation combination and probability and also you may find questions based on volume and surface area so this is the syllabus of uh, the topics in quantitative aptitude and as i uh, said in the earlier slide that uh, your basic mathematical skills needs to be applied to these uh, 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 topics based questions that means variety of questions and you should know what is the right approach to solve a particular question so this is very important so we have just completed how to prepare for quantitative aptitude section along with the topics now let's go to the next thing next section which is data interpretation so data interpretation is basically a part of quantitative aptitude uh, and the question of uh, data interpretation is uh, based on graphs so you may find questions on data table pie chart line graph or maybe mixed graph so how you can approach to the questions of data interpretation you should be knowing the graph reading that means if the, the data is represented in a uh, different type of graphs you should know how to read the graph and then analysis and interpretation right but even after doing these two things you may not be able to solve the question if you do not know the basic concepts of quantitative aptitude because you will find questions based on graphs and in order to solve those questions those uh, basic uh, skills of percentages ratios averages will be applied in order to 
solve these questions based on graphs. So these three things are important. You should be able to read the graph, analyze and interpret and answer the questions based on it. The next section is logical reasoning. Questions on logical reasoning based on logic with little or no calculation. But in order to excel in this uh, logical reasoning section, you must know all type of questions for a topic and the right approach to solve a particular question. So know all the type of questions of uh, logical reasoning, apply the right approach and practice is the key because here you do not have to uh, apply any formula or this does not involve uh, much calculation. So that's why you need to practice a lot in order to solve the questions uh, in less amount of time. Now the topics of logical reasoning is number and alphabet series, coding, decoding, blood relation questions, direction sense questions, arrangements. The questions of arrangements can be uh, linear or it can be circular right syllogisms puzzles it can be crypt match or crypt uh, uh, crypto match or crypt arithmetic questions of cube and dice so these are the topics of logical reasoning after logical reasoning the third section is verbal ability so basically verbal ability is a test of your english language so you need to work on your grammar your reading comprehension and vocabulary right reading and writing skill has to be improved then uh, focus on grammar and vocabulary and you need to practice all type of questions which are asked under this uh, verbal ability section now let's talk about the topics in verbal ability so in verbal ability section you will find questions of synonyms antonyms one word substitution idiom phrases fill in the blanks reading comprehension closed test, parasymbol, sentence correction and error deductions. So all uh, type of questions which are asked uh, in verbal ability section you need to figure out and uh, uh, prepare uh, accordingly. So this is how we have uh, covered all uh, different sections uh, under this aptitude test and must remember that you have to revise each of the section. Take mock test in order to find out which are weaker section for you and improve your score. Good luck for your uh, placement exams. Thank you very much.